behind me is a species that is in the Selicaceae family. It's in the genus Salix. And here we're just going to look at the genus. So SPP would be the designator. This is willow. And there are many, many different species of willow. I'm going to try and point out some of the common characteristics and maybe throw in a few different types of willow so you get a general sense of the genus. Here you can see it is alternately arranged in leaves and buds. And the leaves are often long and narrow. Now, how narrow this particular species is might differ quite a bit. They might be two to three times wider than this on other species, but it is typically for willows that the leaf is longer than it is wide by maybe two to three times. If you see the coloring of at least the newest growth, it tends to be bright in color, greens, yellows, maybe purples or reds, depending on the species. Looking closely, you can see that the twigs are quite slender and flexible. And looking close at the base of a leaf, you can see that's where a bud is. Now these buds have a single bud cap and tend to hold quite tightly to the twig. The bud cap comes off all at once and underneath is typically a fuzzy bud. This is a shrub form of a willow, and you can see that it forms quite a massive planting. And if you sort of notice the different colors in the foliage, a darker color, which is typically the leaves, and then the lighter color might be some of the stems. Willows can also be in full tree form. Some might be familiar with weeping willow or corkscrew willow.